section, this is uh, starting chapter 7 on sampling distributions, just knowing what that word means is a part of the um, part of the challenge. What is a sampling distribution? Um, and so we're going to, we're on uh, section 7.1 is mostly vocabulary and notation, which is huge in this chapter. So we're familiar with this process. We want to know something about a whole population, and so we keep taking these samples. And, um, and hopefully um, we will be able to figure out something about the population using, using the samples. And um, that is what a sampling distribution is. If you look at the distribution of every single sample possible that you could possibly take, that, that is the sampling distribution. Um, so when we do this, these are the, this is the notation. Whenever we're talking about some information about the whole population, it's called a parameter. And fortunately, they both start with a P. The word parameter, those are parameters. Whenever we're talking about something that's dealing with a sample, then it's actually called a statistic. A statistic. If it's about the sample, if it's a parameter, if it's about the entire population. And then there are two pieces of information that we're usually the most interested in, and they divide up the, the next two sections of this chapter. One is the mean. So when you're talking about the population mean, you use mu. Mu is the symbol for the population mean. Population mean. And P is the symbol for population proportion. Population proportion. Um, so um, for example, if we want to know um, in this class, like what um, proportion of you guys watched Empire over the break, um, so that would be P. What P? What uh, proportion? Mean might be um, how many hours on average did you spend watching Empire? Um, so what? There are other things that we can find about a population, like the minimum, the maximum, the median, the interquartile range. But usually, if it's categorical data, we want to know a proportion, right? Categorical, how many of you watched Empire? And if it's if it's uh, quantitative data, then we want the mean, like the average number of hours that you watch something. So if you're talking about for, so we could take uh, samples of this class, say the class is size um, about 30, so we could take samples of three of you and figure out how many of you um, watched Empire and then keep plotting all of those proportions. I'm going to show you an example in a second. But the symbol for the statistic then is X bar. So that's the sample the sample mean for like number of hours you watched it. And then P hat is sample proportion. Sample proportion. And in our extra examples we'll practice doing um, each of those. So, so we have means and, and proportions, because um, that's usually what we're interested in. Um, so a um, population distribution, population distribution, I'll abbreviate distribution. If, if we already knew that, um, if we already knew how many of you watch Empire or how many average hours you spend, we wouldn't need to take samples. So we usually don't know this, but for your vocabulary, a population distribution is how many of each type in the entire population. And we usually don't know that because it would be too time consuming to figure that out, to do a whole census. How many of each type in the actual, actual population? Um, and then the, so the sampling distribution is what we use to get information about the population. So sampling distribution is all, but here's the key, it means all possible samples. Usually we need to use software to generate that. Usually what we have is an approximate sampling distribution. Um, so if it's not all possible samples, you say, make sure you use the word approximate sampling distribution. I'm going to show you a picture of all of these in a second, because you got to see what a distribution looks like. If not all, be sure to say the word approximate. 
approximate sampling distribution. Approximate sampling distribution. And these are not to be, so we use this to figure out something about the population. We use the sampling distribution. And don't confuse this with the word sample distribution. This is the last vocab for part one. A s what do you think a sample distribution is? Not sampling distribution, but a sample distribution. I'm reading. A distribution in in how many samples? Uh, in yeah, exactly. If you just if if you just focus in on only one sample and you look at the distribution, like how many um, M Ms are orange in in that one particular sample, that's a um, sample distribution as opposed to a sampling distribution, which is all possible, or you can have an approximate. So I will, um, I'm going to pause to show you examples. 